Nuketown Zombies, one of my favorite maps of oh wait, wait, wait no, this is the wrong map. Hold on, let, let me let me see, let me see, let me see, let me let me find it. Okay, here it is. I found it. All right, Nuketown Zombies, one of my favorite and beloved maps of Black Ops Two. Black Ops Two Nuketown Zombies is a very unique and interesting map. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about why, personally, in my opinion why I love Nuketown Zombies and why, in my opinion, it's one of the best survival maps to date. Now, Nuketown Zombies in itself is very simplistic. It, of course, comes from the multiplayer map of Black Ops 1, Nuketown. Now, ever since Black Ops 1 came out, people have always thought, hey, how would Nuketown be in the Zombies format? Now, there's been some custom games like uh, World at War custom games of Nuketown, uh, Black Ops 1 custom games of Nuketown, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, so on and so forth. There have been so many custom games of Nuketown Zombies in their own variations and their own ways. But there's something about Black Ops 2's Nuketown Zombies that just feels very special. It, it In a way, when you play it, strikes a chord of nostalgia, like... Is the multiplayer map I used to play with my friends now turned to a zombies map that I still play with my friends? And in my eyes, Newtown Zombies is one of the best survival maps to date because it tests your skill and it tests your strengths. Now, Newtown Zombies, when you first spawn in, of course, you spawn in in the main center area in between the truck and the bus. You have the Olympia and you have the M14. And of course, when you spawn, you hear this like really mellowed out like siren noise and you see this thing come from the sky and it's quicker vibe which as i state in my black ops 2 retrospective gives you a insight of how the perk system is going to work it's random but it's a unique way because they're coming down from the sky in this weird fireball which if you do get close to these falling perks it can damage you but not that much so with this instance, you kind of have the idea, okay, I've played Nuketown before, this is how I'm gonna get my perks, and pretty much, it's just clear as day from that. It's just as clear as day, that is pretty much the whole main map. Now with Nuketown Zombies, it also has a little hint of spicy kick to it. Now you're probably wondering, what do I mean by spicy kick? Champa, you sound weird. Well, by spicy kick, I mean it's little Easter egg. Now, what I mean by little Easter egg, is a talking TV. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck? There's a talking TV in Nuketown and I probably never noticed all these entire years. Am I deaf or something? Possibly, but I'm not being mean about it. <laughs> no, but I mean by the talking TV, it's actually Rick Toffin on the moon. So pretty much Nuketown zombies and moon are happening simultaneously. Because in the in, if you go to the house, you see this weird staticky TV, and you're probably wondering, oh, it does nothing. So either you shoot it with your ray gun, you shoot it with your pistol, or you explode it with your grenades. But if you pay close attention throughout the map as you progress through the rounds, you'll notice that the TV starts talking. Now, of course, the voice is familiar, and it's Rick Toffin. And you hear him talking about, oh, like, Griffin Station, controlling the zombies, uh, entering the password, and Teddy's a liar. And you're wondering, hey, this sounds exactly like what we played on Moon, which is exactly what it is. So as you progress through the rounds, you hear Rick Toffin talking, going through his scheme, throwing, going through his plan. And by rounds either 25 or 30, the zombie's eyes change to blue. Rick Toffin then gains control and pretty much you just play the game as intended. It's just a little survival map and that's all it is. And when you die, the rockets from the moon crash into Nuketown. And that's pretty much all Nuketown has to offer. That is literally all it is. And it's, it's different. It's different compared to the three survival maps of Bus Depot, Farm, and Town. Those are just generic survival maps. But there's just something about Nuketown Zombies that just gives you a hint of flair. Like, I want to progress to see the zombies' eyes turn blue. I want to progress to see how far I can go without Juggernaug. Because it's round 15 and Juggernaug hasn't spawned in. Or, if I do this, will something happen in the bunker? Well, if I knife the bunker, I can hear Marlton. There's little things like that that just capture the player's, I guess you can say, gameplay. 
Like, there's just little gameplay aspects that just capture it. And off in the distance, you might even hear the bus from Transit. Which, got in, in that time, in that time when Black Ops 2 first came out and people heard this, everybody thought, it's bus route B, it's the second bus route. This is where we're going to come to if we solve the Easter egg for Nuketown and we solve the Easter egg for Transit. This is bus route B. Bus route B leads us to Nuketown. The Transit players can come to Nuketown. That's why Marlton is stuck in the bunker because he is the one who took the Transit bus from Nuketown all the way to Transit. You know, all these weird, crazy theories just spawned in, spawned into life because of this map. Everybody just came up with these crazy theories and they're like, oh, there's probably a way to get out of Nuketown. If we open the bunker, if we do all these crazy things, we can leave the bunker and end up in transit. You know, all these crazy, crazy, crazy things, all these crazy theories, which of course never really happened besides Marlton leaving to the transit bus. But <laughs> at the time, it was one of the biggest things talked about. How to get the bunker open? Is it bus route B? <laughs> and how? How to get Marlton out of the bunker. Those are like probably the three biggest things that were talked about. But that just shows the power of this little simple survival map. Treyarch couldn't have done anything. They could have just done it, put zombies in it, and call it a day. But they had to go all out with Marlton in the bunker, here in the transit bus, and simultaneously with the moon easter egg. It was a very, very, very minor thing. In the zombies community but if you played it people were either if you're playing live people are like knife the bunker talk to marlton oh the, you, you hear the transit bus from far away pay attention to to the tv the zombies have to turn blue everybody was always on that and it was crazy it was insane and that's why i say in my in my opinion why newtown zombies survival the survival map is fun because there's all these little things happening around you and it's just it's just crazy and then like i say if you go to a higher round the zombies eyes just turn blue and it, it's cool you know it's cool and then rick toffin becomes the announcer and you're just like wow like like i can't believe it you know i got this far and this is a small reward i get you know the zombies eyes are blue and rick toffin's the announcer now and it, it's fun it's, it's just crazy cool fun and you play newton zombies with your friends it's even better but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment down below. Turn on all notifications to be notified of any future videos. I'm working on part two of the Black Ops 2 retrospective. And other than that, that's it.